Hello, um, I'll be talking about the difference between the general motor ability hypothesis and the specificity of motor ability hypothesis. So general motor ability hypothesis is defined as motor abilities uh, being highly related and can be grouped as a singular or global motor ability. Um, this can be defined also or explained as being naturally athletic, um, in meaning that you are able to, if you're able to be uh, great at a muscular strength, you also have balance, hand-eye coordination, um, reaction speed is great as well. Um, for myself, I know that I like to think I'm able to be classified as a naturally athletic. I've played many sports in my life but I've stuck to soccer I've played basketball some football um, uh, track and that's why I like to think myself as naturally athletic um, as far as specific of motor ability hypothesis this is defined as motor abilities being uh, interrelated independently um, and Frank in 1961 Franklin Henry uh, created a research where he developed or he compared reaction time and movement time and it showed that they were um, uncorrelated this is this means that your reaction time does not is not defined by your movement time and your movement time is not rea um, related to your reaction time so you could be great at your muscular strength but it doesn't mean that you have perfect balance and this is about it